This Florida sheriff has a slogan. We don't mess around. When it comes to meth busts, he's seen it all. We actually caught one woman was about to shoot up. She had a needle. He even live streams the arrests on social media. Come on, you're going to jail. Almost a million people watched this one. Possession of methamphetamine, keeping a drug house. I know we've had complaints out here. But what Franklin County Sheriff A.J. Smith came across this week shook him to his core. He arrested someone he never thought would be trafficking drugs. We went to serve a search warrant at a house where a lady had delivered a large quantity of drugs to an informant. And while we're there, I asked her, where did your drugs come from? And she said, your daughter. And I'm like, my daughter? I said, because we're a small town. Everybody knows everybody. I said, Kristen? And she's like, yes. Kristen Kent, his 38-year-old daughter and mother of his beloved grandchildren. I sat down with the sheriff for top story. We... Uh, made a control buy, and we arrested my daughter. I went to the house and got her. Wow. What was that like for you? <laughs> I can't even put it into words. I mean, when she said Kristen, I was just like, wow. I mean, it's like a gut punch. I mean, you just, you know, I mean, what? It's, it's, uh, it's like it's a dream, you know. And, you know, and that's the thing, too. It's like I know that of all the sheriffs in Florida or probably across the country that speak out about meth, I'm probably the loudest voice. And I knew that with this, that I couldn't treat my daughter any differently. Sheriff Smith has been one of the state's leading law enforcement voices in the battle against methamphetamine since going into office in 2017. We can break the generational cycle if we can stop the next generation from becoming addicted. Putting people in jail does not solve the problem. It's a temporary fix. We've established rehab programs in the jail. We have a person on staff that their main job is finding rehab for people. In the first half of 2020, deaths caused by meth increased by 56% in Florida, 237 more deaths than the previous year, according to a report from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. And drug use in Franklin County has skyrocketed even more in recent years compared to the rest of the state. What I preach to the people that call me every day, they're like, well, what do I do? My son, my daughter, my mother, my sister. Tough love. You know, I had to practice what I've been preaching. I mean, she knows better of anybody in this county. According to police documents obtained by Top Story, Kristen Kent was charged with trafficking in methamphetamine, possession of cocaine, and possession or use of drug paraphernalia. She's currently out on bond. Sheriff Smith says he did not pay for her bond. We reached out to Kent for comment and did not hear back. Have you spoken to her since? Oh, yeah. No, I spoke to, yeah, I'm spoken to her every day. What are you communicating to her right now? Don't do this anymore. I love you, and but I don't love what you did. It was wrong, and you should not have done it. All right, Issa Gutierrez joins us now live on set. A very heavy story. So, Issa, you have a local sheriff who's made it his mission to fight this war on meth. Did he have any sense his daughter was tied up in this? Tom, that's the crazy thing about this. He says that he was completely shocked when he learned of this. From his perspective, he told me he thought she was doing great. She had a good government agency job, three beautiful children, and according to the sheriff, no prior record. He said to me, Tom, you never imagined that your own daughter could be one of the biggest drug traffickers in the county. That's what she's being accused of. But especially, Tom, when again, your father is the sheriff and so outspoken about what drugs can do to a family. So he's just completely devastated. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.